Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, mag-discuss naman tayo ng ano, mga non-routinary topics sa math. So, ang i-discuss natin is yung Sophie Germain Identity. So ano ba ibig sabihin ng mga Lodi? So it states that the factor of a to the fourth plus 4b to the fourth is equal to a squared plus 2b squared minus 2ab multiplied by a squared plus 2b squared plus 2ab. Paano ba nangyari yan, Sir IG? So, i-take note natin yung mga Lodi, ah. Paano po ba nangyari yan? So, alam natin na ang square root nito is a squared. Ito naman, 2b squared. So, this will become a squared plus 2b squared quantity squared. Kaya lang, mga Lodi, kapag in-expand natin to, we will have a middle term. So, that is plus 4a squared b squared. So, kaya kailangan natin magbawas ng 4a squared b squared. So, this can be expressed as a squared plus 2b squared quantity squared minus 2ab quantity squared. So, this is summing difference, mga Lodi, if we remember the factoring 3. So, that is x squared minus y squared is equal to the sum of x and y multiplied by their difference. So, from that case, we will have a squared plus 2b squared minus 2ab multiplied by a squared plus, o gawin natin plus na lang yan mga Lodi, plus 2 um, b squared minus 2ab. So, yan yung tandaan natin. Na pag nakakita kayo ng ganitong form mga Lodi, automatic, that is Sophie Germain identity. So, ang gawin natin, mag-solve tayo ng mga problems mga Lodi, kahit mga dalawang problem regarding this. Wala na, binura ko ng mga Lodi, dapat natandaan yan. Okay, number one. What is the largest prime factor of 19 raised to the fourth plus 64? So, kung mapapansin natin, pwedeng 19 to the fourth. So, di ba naalala natin yung Germain, Sophie Germain? So, we have a to the fourth plus 4b to the fourth. So, ang gagawin natin mga Lodi, ito, i-divide natin by 4. So, that is equal to 64 divide 4. That's 16. Tama ka, Lodi. So, that is 16. So, magiging 2 raised to the fourth power. So, alam naman natin na ang factor niya na a squared plus 2b squared plus 2ab tapos magiging minus 2ab sa kabila. So, we have 19 squared plus 2 times 2 squared plus 2ab. Dapat ito ay bracket mga Lodi. Multiplied by, ganun pa rin, 19 squared plus 2 times 2 squared. But this time, minus 2 times 19 times 2. So, ano ang mangyari dyan? Ilan yung 19 squared mga Lodi? So, that is 361 plus 8 plus, ano yung 2 times 19 times 2 mga idol? So, that is 2 times 19, that is equivalent to 38 times 2, that's 76. Multiplied by 19 squared, 361, plus 8, minus 76. So, isimplify natin. 361 plus 8, that is 369. 369 plus 76, mga Lodi, that is 445. Multiplied by 361 plus 8. That is 369. 369 minus 76. Ilan yan mga Lodi? So that is 293. So we have 5 multiplied by 89. So this is 5 times 89, right? Times 293. Anong inahanap? The largest prime factor. Therefore, the correct answer is 293. Hindi na po siya factorable mga Lodi. Okay? So, ganun lang po, paggamit ng Sophie Germain. So, try natin isa pang example. So, for the next example, what are the prime factors of 5 to the 4th plus 4 times 6 to the 4th? So, ganun yung forma natin, mga Lodi. So, that is a to the 4th plus 4b to the 4th equals a squared plus 2b squared minus 2ab multiplied by a squared plus 2b squared plus 2ab 
So, what we have now, mga Lodi, is... Okay, tama ka dyan. So, we have A is 5. So, we have 5 squared plus 2 times. This is... Um, ano yung square root ng B to the 4th? That is uh, B squared. So, we will have 6 squared. So, gawin natin itong bracket. Minus 2 times 5 times 6. Multiplied by 5 squared plus 2 times 6 squared minus 2, or sorry, plus 2 times 5 times 6. So, ano na mangyari? Ilan yung 5 squared? 25 plus 36 times 2, 71 minus, this is 2 times 5 times 6. Tama ka dyan, idol, that is 60. Multiplied by 5 squared, 25, plus 70, ah, sorry, this is 72, mga Lodi, plus 72, plus 60. So, pag sinimplify natin, 25 plus 72, that is, um, 97, 97 minus 60, that is 37. How about this one? 25 plus 72, that is 97, plus 60, that is 157. Therefore, the prime factors of this one is equal to are 37 and 157. Ayan. So, just in case meron kayo questions or clarifications, mga Lodi, just comment on the comment section below. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and I hope you have a great day. Bye!